This week, we're going to look at some of the new features in CartaPy 0.16 and how to reduce the boilerplate code to make this map. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, I wanted to show you a couple features of the recently released CartaPy 0.16 and how it can save you a little bit of typing. So here we've got a basic map made with CartaPy. So we import the coordinate reference system, CartaPy.feature as CFeet, and matplotlib as PLT like normal, and have our matplotlib inline magic. We then make a figure. We add a subplot, and in this case, we're going to use the Lambert Conic Conformal projection. And then we use this dot add feature method on the axis to add things like land, ocean, coastline, borders, and lakes. And that's all been pretty standard for a while in CartaPy. Adding states, though, was a little bit tricky. You had to use this line right here. So we had to go get a natural earth feature from the natural earth database. And then we could add that feature. So we called it state borders, and we can use axe.add feature state borders, much like we did up here. That's a decent amount of boilerplate. It's a couple lines there that you have to type every time, and it's not something that you're necessarily going to remember. For example, that the name of that feature is admin1, states, provinces, lakes. So one of the nice things in CartaPy 0.16 is we can take this entire bit right here and delete it. And then we can replace state borders with cfeet.states in all capital, much like land, ocean, coastline, and so on. If we run the cell again, we get the same map, but we only have one line of code and it's very easy to remember instead of remembering how to get the natural earth feature. Another interesting thing that you'll run into is in the natural earth feature, we were specifying a map scale at which we wanted to get the outlines. So if I go into my extent here, I'm going to zoom in on the Northern Arkansas and Missouri area. So I'm gonna go uh, minus 95 and minus 89 for our longitude bounds and 35 and 40 for the latitude bounds. So now we see that I'm pretty zoomed in, but these state outlines are not that great. They are one of the larger map scales, so we don't see as much definition and much detail, but it's much quicker to plot and much smaller when we're making a, say, continental scale map. Instead of having to go ahead and go get the natural earth feature again and specify what scale we would like, we can instead just add dot width scale. In this case, I'm going to get the highest resolution scale available from natural earth. And now when we rerun that cell, you see that I have much more detail and definition in the state outlines. One other common question that we would get when using CartaPy is if you were to plot barbs or vectors or other things on your map and you had the land filled like this, a lot of the time they would plot behind the land shading and you wouldn't see them. So you might think that it's not working. And then uh, you'd have to actually go in and manually change the Z order or sort of the, the vertical stacking of these things so that the barbs would be on top of the land and then you could actually see them, they weren't shaded over. That has been changed in CartaPy 0.16. So for example, if I just plot a scatter point, so I'm going to plot 94.2088 west and 36.3729 north. Don't forget that you need to specify a transform. And in this case, it's going to be Platkree, CCRS. Which, you know, the joke is that's French for I don't have a projection. We're giving latitude and longitude values here. Our map is a Lambert conic conformal projection, but we're not giving it X and Y in those coordinates. We're giving it X and Y as latitude and longitude, and we want it to transform those. So now if I plot it, you see by default, I get my dot, and I don't have to change the order, I don't have to do any of that, it all just works now. So these improvements, although they're small, are going to make your scripts 
a little bit shorter and make some of these calls have a few less arguments. You don't have to specify everything every time. So for example, now I can go ahead and take this edge color off and I'm still gonna get the same result. If I take line style off, I'm gonna get solid states, but in this case, I wanna leave the dotted line, for example. Uh, but it just these little improvements make the scripts more maintainable, make them easier to write, and make you have to look less of this boilerplate code up. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to click subscribe so you get notifications when more videos like this come out. You can also follow us on Twitter. We're at MetPy and at Unidata. And you can find us on Facebook as well. Just search for Unidata. We'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.